if you have glasses, take them off. Uh, the, it'll be a little more dramatic. But does anyone notice anything weird about the red spot? Yeah. I'll give you a hint. Is it a solid red spot? Yeah. What do you see? It's blurry. Some, you see some black dots in there? Yeah. Those black dots are because light is a wave, and <laughs> waves can add up together. This is why we get things like static on our radios. And when they, when they add up together, they can either add up and create bright light like this, or they can add up and cancel each other and create dark spots. And the dark spots that you see are actually on your retina. It's all in your head. So everyone in here sees a different set of dark spots up there. Because of the light waves bouncing off the wall and hitting your retina, they add up in a certain way for every single person in here. All of you see a different pattern of black spots. So how many people are nearsighted in here? Okay, for all of you nearsighted people, as you look at the spot, rotate your head back and forth. And what do you see happening to the black spots? They move in the opposite direction. Anybody farsighted in here? No? No one's farsighted. Anyone have... <laughs> Anyone have perfect vision 2020? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what do you see when you look at the dark spots and you turn your head back and forth? It moves with the direction. It moves with the direction. So gen generally, people with perfect vision they get some moving in each direction, opposite and width. And then people who are far sighted tend to have to move with your head. And all of that is a pattern that's created on your retina. It's all in your head. They say. But that's laser speckle. You said that photons are wave, right? Well, so we can have particle and wave behavior of light, yeah. And it all depends on, it turns out it depends on how you measure, the type of measurements you make as to which phenomenon you will observe. So if you try and make a particle measurement on light, you'll measure particle-like behavior. If you try and make a wave measurement, you'll measure wave-like behavior. And you can't do both at the same time. 